Hey, Town Church. Uh, this is David Pinckney. Uh, I'm here in Concord, New Hampshire, where a number of years ago we planted the River of Grace Church. I also work uh, with Acts 29's Churches in Hard Places. I'm their rural strategist, and for the last about two and a half years now, I've had the privilege of helping uh, promote rural church planting, uh, not just here in the United States, but around the globe. And one of our goals is to partner uh, rural churches here in the United States with rural church plants around the globe. You can imagine the resourcing of, of rural plants in places like Brazil or rural um, Guatemala, India, uh, and Africa. It's quite difficult. And uh, you have, um, through your generosity at Christmas and uh, through some other gifts, have, uh, have helped support a church planting couple uh, Stephen and Esther Salamo, as they have gone from Nairobi, where they've got their education, they both have their master's degrees, uh, actually met uh, Stephen in Nairobi, I think in April of 2019. Anyway, they've returned to their home people in northern Kenya, the Rendeli people. Uh, the Rendeli people are nomadic uh, herdsmen, a very arid, dry place, uh, very poor and uh, they've gone back to their home people, uh, Esther and Stephen have, to their home people to plant churches there. And uh, right now they're, they're living on, I think the support that the, that's committed to them is about $350 um, a month. That is what they live on. It doesn't cover things like their health insurance, which I think their annual premium would be around $1,800. Their kids' um, tuition, which it, it, in my world, it sounds really quite uh, inexpensive. I think for three months, it's kind of like uh, like sixty dollars or something like that. But I'm sharing all that to say that um, in in their setting, we are their only support. Our our church here in New Hampshire supports them at like a tune of two hundred dollars a month, uh, and we don't know if they will ever become uh, a church plant that's self sufficient just because the uh, poverty is so um, so severe. But uh, it's a joyful thing to partner with the Salamos. And, and right now we're in the process of helping um, them get into their own home. They've been living in a Rendelli hut. You can look them up on Google. Um, they're, they're not much to speak of, but when they move back there, they've got a plot of land, they've got a fence up around it. But when they move back there, they built a hut, which is what um, uh, Rendelli people are are typically known to live in, but uh, with their desire to be in a permanent home, we've raised um, a little over ten thousand dollars, I think, to help build them. A, that will build them a whole house. Uh, my goodness, in New Hampshire, that hardly pays for the uh, building fees. Anyway, you have contributed to that, and I want to thank you, and I want to urge you to continue uh, supporting through uh, your church, the town church, supporting the uh, Salamos. If you can imagine, like what you and I spend on. Um, internet and cell phone bills, that's their living expense for a year. And so pray for them, pray for the gospel witness, pray for a church to be established there and other churches to be established, and, and pray that uh, God would give them uh, stable and um, uh, steady income. And uh, one of the big prayers we're praying for them now is um, we've also be raised some seed money to drill a well near there. Uh, during the dry season, they have to walk quite a distance to get water. And so our prayer is that for the village where they, near where they live, we might be able to drill a well. So anyway, all those things that urge you to continue to give towards um, the work of Stephen and Esther Salamo. God bless you, and uh, thanks for being on mission there um, in, in Northern California. And, uh, got, and look forward to maybe someday connecting with you there. God bless. Thanks.